their voyage across the Pacific in those days took uh, about uh, two weeks and they landed at Angel Island in Northern California in December, shortly after Christmas of uh, 1912. My grandfather took my grandmother to what is now Huntington Beach and uh, to introduce her to what life would, was like in Orange County. And at that time, it was really rural. Large acres of farmland. Having moved here from Japan, their, I think their principal initiative was, of course, to help their children become good American citizens. I, I think the fact that uh, our grandfather was intent and actually carried through on purchasing land at that time is an indication that he wanted to really make a go of it in America. Whatever my father wanted to do, it seemed he was able to do it. Sometime in the early 1920s, uh, he decided to uh, put in uh, fish ponds on the property that he purchased. And it wasn't shortly after that that essentially the whole property other than the church and the family residence was devoted to uh, ponds and, and to raising tropical, tropical fish. I wondered often what he did to earn a living with fish, you know. People aren't that crazy about goldfish. You can't eat them, although the college boys did. <laughs> I don't know how much he could have made with that, but we lived. It was kind of fun playing around in the dirt and uh, the ir irrigation patches and so forth and, you know, playing with different things, floating them down the irrigation patch. And, and uh, it was quite fun living on a farm. My grandmother was a very strong lady. And, yeah, she had a definite uh, set of values and how people should behave and how they should look. I remember when I was a little kid and I was walking across the grass there and she comes up to me and looks at my feet and says, toes have to be pointed straight forward when you walk. It says if they're out like this, out to the side, and it says that that's a sign of low class. <laughs> and I remember that. <laughs> I would hope that um people that would be looking at our family and our family history would be looking at uh, people that were filled with a sense of dedication, a sense of optimism, a sense of striving to make the future better, not only for themselves, but for their offspring. I, I think the fact that he uh, was in the process of trying to become a citizen uh, right before he died is evidence that uh, I think he never gave up on that hope. Uh, and I think nothing would please him more than to know that uh, his family would be a family chosen to be featured in our American family.